Hi, right, everybody. Welcome back to Black Hat USA 2019. Chuck Harrell, SecurityGuyTV.com, SecurityGuyRadio.com, ASISTV.org. I'm exhausted. I don't think I can go on with all those promotions i got to do. Anyway, let's get to the good stuff. What's your name, sir? David Meltzer. What's the name of your company? Tripwire. Tripwire.com. Tripwire.com. Right. I've always been intrigued by the name. It's kind of cool. It means a lot of possible things. What do you guys do? So we've been protecting some of the leading organizations in the world against the most dangerous cyber threats for over 20 years now. 20 years? I mean... Uh, that was 9K dial modem time almost. I mean, that's crazy. Yeah, we were one of the early pioneers yeah. in internet security when people really weren't doing anything. Nothing, right. One of the first things that people decided to do to secure their systems was, let's put Tripwire on my critical servers. Well, that's fantastic. So uh, back in the, let's talk about back in the day what you did, and let's progress to what it is now. Yep, so 20 years ago, the challenge with security was I had no visibility into anything going on on my critical systems. Tripwire would monitor systems looking for what things were changing on the machine. Machines. Oh, interesting. If nothing was changing, if you started in a secure state, you'd still be in a secure state. Right. When changes happen, people install new software, people are changing around configurations. Yeah. That's when risks are being introduced. And, and back then, yeah, we had no zero, zero, you had to look at a log if you could read 10,000 lines of code, but that's it. There was no visibility into anything. Yeah, and so banks, financial institutions put us on their most critical two, three, five servers they had. Wow. Now, fast forward 20 years, the challenge has flipped itself on its head. Now the problem isn't we don't have any visibility. Now the problem is we have too much data. Too much data. I know, people are drowning in it. Now yeah. you're thinking about, I have 50,000 machines, 100,000 machines. Each one of these machines has changes happening to it all the time. I have systems sitting in the cloud. I have applications sitting in AWS. I have my virtualized systems. All of these things happening. How do I pick out what's the most important risk for me to do something about right, right now? It's almost impossible. That's what Tripwire does. We help people figure out in large organizations, determine what are the changes that are impacting their security, how do they maintain the integrity of their systems, how to make sure their systems are properly configured to secure them against the latest threats. Now, I heard an interesting word there. We can say that uh, Tripwire found WannaCry. That's an obvious one, right? But the word change can be more significant. If there's a lot of changes in your system, that could indicate somebody's internally screwing around Right, and maybe manipulating things, causing trouble. Maybe it's an insider threat. So talk about that, but about how you monitor the changes in the operating systems, as opposed to you know what everybody does, and everybody finds a threat, finds a threat. That's a different yeah. thing. There's a little subtle difference there, isn't there? Yeah, and in fact, 20 years ago we called it file integrity monitoring. Okay. Now it's not just about files anymore. When changes are happening, it could be a binary change, it could be a registry key change, it could be I'm logging into a, a router or a firewall rule changed on a system, right. someone set up a new VLAN. All these different kind of changes could happen on premise. We're also seeing changes happening in your cloud applications, your SaaS applications, your infrastructure. We take all that information and let's talk a minute about how do you classify a change? Is oh, a yeah. change That's good a or bad? Point. That's a good point. Uh, the first thing you want to figure out is was it an authorized change? Okay. In some cases, organizations could actually make a change that could introduce risk, but it might have been the change that they were intending to make. Good point. Um, so, you want to know, was it authorized? And many large organizations will have a change control process. So they're going to document a ticket. They're going to put it into a configuration management tool. Bob, the admin, doesn't log in directly to the server to go change a configuration. He oh, goes yes. through a software deployment tool, a configuration management tool. So we can start to look for those kind of changes and say, OK, this actually happened in a weird way. Not even just the change itself yeah. was different. That's a good point. Now. To accomplish this, I could see it happening in a couple ways. One might be machine learning. Uh, you're kind of figure out what they normally do, but that not be possible because you could be doing a million things that can never be the same routine. So, do you work with a combination of of their behavior? and programming some rules into the system to make this work. Yeah, in fact, we have the largest policy library in the industry, over oh, wow. 700 best practices policies that ship out of the box. Okay. So you may want to look at any change <clears throat> and say, not just whether it authorized or unauthorized, but was this in compliance with security hardening standards? Yeah. Or our own internal corporate standards for how systems should be configured. And so it's these kind of changes. Wow, that's fantastic. Yeah, there's a variety of different platforms. There's also so many regulations out there right now. Right. Depending on what kind of 
organization you are, you may want to map those changes to different kinds of security controls. Is uh, GDRP in Europe affecting you? Do you guys see that coming here and making any changes to how you operate? Oh, absolutely. You know, we just saw these huge fines levied against Marriott and British Airways, hundreds of millions of dollars in fines, and it all came back to, were these organizations exercising good security hygiene, good due diligence right. in how they were implementing their security controls? And just about every security framework in the world, the NIST cybersecurity framework, ISO 27002, the SANS, uh, used to be the SANS top 20, they all say you need to know what assets you have, you need to know what's on those assets and where those risks are. And if you're not getting that level of visibility into what's going on to those systems at a deep granular way, there's no way you can keep those systems secure. Right. Unbelievable. Tripwire.com, man. This is fantastic. You guys know what you're talking about. Uh, yeah, we've been doing it for a long time with yeah. many of the biggest companies in the world, so we're pretty experienced in that. Excellent. Tripwire.com is the website. We're back in a minute here at Black Hat USA 2019, Las Vegas, baby. Thanks.